What is up everybody? The Hunter GT with thehuntergt.com. That's right. Go check out the website. Got the rad metal detecting forum over there. Got a brand new forum up. The old one is still up as an archive so you can always go check out our old information. Got a lot of cool posts there. And then after you're done with that, click on the new forum link on the main page up top and you will head to our new forum we have set up. There is the Huntress in her beach dress and hoodie today. She, she's rocking the style right now, the hoodie and the beach dress. <laughs> Got her purple flip flops on there and her pink F-19. She is girled out, ready to go detecting here. The kids are over here playing smash ball, making their lines right there, hitting the little ball back and forth. I have the Patriot F9 or the Patriot F19. Boy, how about that? The Technetics Patriot. I got confused. She has the Fisher F19. I have the Technetics Patriot here today. And we are gonna be hitting up the beach here. They're doing some pier work over there with the crane. So we're gonna be detecting underneath the pier. Not too many people here. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. It's gonna fill up like a madhouse here, but we it's a huge beach. It's a huge beach. So we have plenty of room to detect without bothering anybody. Everybody always asks, you know, at the beach, oh, do you find anything cool? Everybody knows, you know, beach detectorists are out here in spades. We just saw a guy leaving in his car, actually. He had a sign on there, did you lose a ring? I'll help you find it, right painted on the side of his truck. So that was pretty cool, pretty neat. All right, without further ado, let's go find us some stuff at the beach. First find of the day for the Huntress, she is excited. She was born and raised in Denver, Colorado. I'm from California, so after 17 years in Colorado, I am back to California where I was born and raised. I lived out here for 24 years before I went to Colorado. She's a Denver mountain girl at heart, so like first find snow. of her, she said, oh cool, look, it's a whole one. It's not open, it's it's a whole one. So there I'm we go, and she found one. another shell there. Boy, this is as good as a gold ring for her, That's finding right. intact shells like that, so. Never seen nothing like that. She's never seen anything like that. Not in person. Anymore. Every time she comes to the ocean, her eyes light up, and she's so excited to be out here. I grew up out here, and, uh, I've been to the ocean a hundred times myself, so it's kind of worn off just a tad bit. But anyways, that's her first find of the day. Good job, Huntress. Good job. All right, my first target of the day will be my first find here. It's a 19. It's bouncing around a little bit when I do a full swing. So, expecting a piece of trash, but you gotta dig it all at the beach, so let's find out. First find of the day, a Hunt's tomato ketchup packet, unopened, right there. So if I need some ketchup later, I'll uh, have some, I guess, unopened. That's pretty rare. So, probably just dropped in the last couple days, I'm assuming. <laughs> On to the next. Well, that ring up is high iron. I'm running all metal mode actually today, so there we go. Like some little twisted up wire. Somebody made a little cage out of it or something. I'm not sure what it's for. You know what that is, leave a comment. I don't know, it almost looks like it's perfectly twisted, so it may have came that way. Something for fishing, something for, I don't know, wetting. So there it is. All right, on to the next. Well, the Huntress here has found a 22 shell on the beach. Somebody's out here shooting seagulls or something. That's kind of weird. It's not something I expected to find out here. It looks like it's pretty crusted. It's flaking apart towards the end there. But it's definitely a 22 shell from what I see. I don't know. Hmm. Odd find at the beach. Well... There's plenty of those at the beach, that's for sure. Plenty of crown caps. That's gotta be the 40th one we found in the last two days between us, so I'm not really showing 
the fines until I find them too much because boy I waste a lot of time and deleting and you know I want to show credible fines hopefully but 90% of our fines you're looking at it right there guys right so just pretend that I'm showing off 20 30 of these for my video and you'll be right there along with us live basically in your head <laughs> Well, th this was down six, seven inches. I can't wait till we go gold prospecting because your F-19 is freaking awesome for, you know, it's based off the Gold Bug Pro, 19 kilohertz like the Gold Bug Pro. So it's a nugget shooter at heart, but doubles as a great coin shooter. One of the best IDs on coins of all time and a great relic hunter as well because the recovery speed is so fast. It separates like bonkers. It unmasks very well. So... Look what she just found at like six, seven inches. A little piece of like aluminum, melted aluminum or something. I mean, it is small. If that was a gold nugget, boy, it would have screamed on that. It, it was screaming too. She said, yeah, it's a 58. It's a 58. So she thought it was a nickel. And uh, there it is. It was like six, seven inches down. She was like, give me your digger. I can't get it with my hands. The dirt gets a little bit harder. It gets wet and hard once you're down there off the few first four inches or so but man that's a you know that's a good find even though it's a piece of junk you know it's a good find even though it's just you know a piece of trash or whatever that is tiny look at the size of that thing man that was it wow go f19 go that is crazy good hmm. all right well the huntress just landed this nickel right here a 2011 she is skunking me out today, but I'm used to that. I'm not having very good luck on the beach. I must be honest, this is what our fifth video, I guess, on the beach. And my most credible find is a state's quarter, I want to say. So I think I found me a little trinket or something like that on one of my earlier videos, but not much. There's a quarter right there. She just found a quarter live on camera. States quarter or 2007 it looks like that is I can't tell Wyoming 1890 Wyoming the equality state the equality so everybody's equal in Wyoming I don't know about that but there it is 2011 nickel and a 2007 quarter good job huntress you're quite the detectorist at the beach at the park at the school boy you know if, when we go gold prospecting i hope you're as lucky because you know it's we share our wealth so yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a, i hope you do as well i don't care if i get skunked as long as you find some nuggets so keep an eye out guys we will be hitting up the gold claim here boy look at the fog rolling in yeah. it was nice and sunny and look way down there the temperature is dropping rapidly and the fog is rolling in down there yes sir yikes so what you want to wave to everybody on youtube say hello youtube hello youtube there we go all right guys let's go find some more stuff before the uh snow starts to fall right yeah right yeah right are you sure that wasn't yours it wasn't, Hunt it wasn't yours are you sure huntress so she just walked over to me, opened her, I'm not going to show it on camera, I'm not going to show it on camera, but she came up, opened her hand and said, look what I found, and she had a doobie sitting in her hand, a, a roach, I guess you would call it, it was already smoked on, but uh, somebody was having some high times here at the beach, that's for sure. I'm sure it goes on quite often here in California where it is legalized, so yeah, she had a grin on her face like oh boy I found the best find of the day she said I said well what is it I figured oh she got a ring she opened her hand and there it was a nice roach all smoked on <laughs> now your hands smoke if we get pulled over on the way home officers gonna I need to search your vehicle ma'am I need to search your vehicle <laughs> well I found my first coin of the day a quarter 1993 there it is the Huntress can't totally shut me out, even though she totally whoops my butt. I don't have a zero on the scoreboard. There it is. 1993 quarter. Good job. Good job, Hunter. If I do say so myself. Well, I found an apocalypse nickel. That's what I like to call him. It's a 2012. 
end of the world was supposed to happen in 2012, so, you know, this nickel was supposed to be the last nickel ever minted, but here we are in 2017, still ticking, so there it is. A 2012 nickel. Two in a row, two coins in a row. That's right, Huntress, you hear that? You hear that over there? Two coins, two coins in a row. <laughs> Good stuff. Here we are under the walkway here. Huntress said, let's go over underneath the walkway. We might find some uh, cool finds up in there. The only problem is up in here, all these pigeons are up in here. There's tons of pigeons. I don't see any right now, but you can see the nest right there on one, two of them. And I'm afraid of getting pooped on, to be quite honest. Not a, really a fan of bird poop, so, uh-oh. What is it, a nickel? A quarter. Good job. Check this out. Found one of those flattened pennies down here. You put them in the crank. You put your penny in and then put 50 cents, 75 cents in and then crank the handle and it flattens your penny out and puts uh, Pismo Beach on it. So somebody cranked their penny and flattened it and then uh, dropped it right here, right down the steps here. So, hmm. poor guys, I'll take it. Kind of a neat find, corroded and all, missing a chip on the bottom there. See what we got here. 73, 74. It's overloading right there, so it might be a big target. It goes from three inches. And then overloads. The double line means it's big, big, and it's overloading the coils. So, thought it might be a coin, but not so sure now. Let's find out. Well, it turned out being a penny. There it is, 1975. A birthier penny for me. I'm not sure why it was overloading. It was right about two inches, three inches down. So the pinpoint accuracy was okay, but it was overloading for some reason. I don't know why. When I removed it, there was no overload signal. It's the first coin that's done that, so. But we're ground balancing way high up here. I'm 87 ground balance here in this dirt under the pier. The farther up we go, the higher the number. She's ground balancing at like a 90 on her F19. As we go down there, it hits like 71, 74, and then you go further, it's 50. Further, it's 30, and then you get down in the water, and it's a one or a zero. So the higher up we come, the higher we are ground balancing. There's like some black sand type stuff. See that strip right there? That's not trash rain. That's like a strip of black sand. So I think that's like where the high tide comes all the way up there at certain points or a storm tide or something. But it deposited a bunch of minerals there where these pigeons are picking at right there. So kind of strange. Having fun though. Having lots of fun. You having fun, Huntress? Yes. Yes, she is. Look at that dime the Huntress found. Looks like it just rolled off the mint. 2016. Boy, that thing is shiny. That's for sure. There it goes. Zooming in there. Focusing in. 2016. Man, that thing's got some sheen on it. I said, wow, it looks like it came right off the mint. She said, right into my hands. Yeah, nice. You turning into a hick on me or something here? Huh? Nope, what was that twang you had in your voice there? <laughs> Well, not quite a coin spill, but I found me a 2015 zinc penny and a 2003 dime there. Same hole, same bit of sand. I guess it's not really a hole. All you got to do is kick your foot in it like that and then uh, run your coil over it. Well, I don't think I've used my pinpointer maybe once or twice. Yeah, and that's it. So you just kind of kick the sand out of the way and there it is. So, yeah. Pretty nice, it is pretty nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Peace and love to all, that's right. There you go, someone made a peace sign out of the kelp here, the seaweed. Pretty neat, pretty neat. 
dual zinc penny finds. The shiny one was the Huntress, the crusty one was me. Just found them at the same time. Mine was right here. Hers is about oh, three, four feet over there. She said, look, I got one too. I said, man, if hers is a gold ring and mine's a zinc penny, I'm going home right now. But I think we're gonna call it a video. We're gonna start walking back towards the uh, stairs over there. So um, if we find anything else, I'll throw them at the end here. Oh, but I think we're getting ready to call it a day here in just a moment. Alright guys, I think we are going to call it a video. The Huntress GT, we got the kids up over here having a good day, metal detecting, playing at the beach. Nothing else credible other than about, what, 10 bottle caps since we last were on video. So, a ton of bottle caps today. Quite a few coins. Not a bad day at all. Some fun beach detecting. Hope you enjoyed the video. The Hunter GT, signing off. I will see you on the next video.